anions. A negative Sol ions. Sulfate. Phosphate. Carbonate. Phosphate. Sulfate. And. Phosphate. Carbonate, sulfate, phosphate, and. Chloride. Yeah. 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 What's a carbonate test? What's the first um, thing we do? We add nitric acid. Why? Nitric. <laughs> nitric. I like that. Nitric. Yeah. Um, why do we add nitric acid? What happens when an acid reacts with a carbonate? Produces carbon, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. So what are we looking for? Bubbles. Oh. Good. Effervescence. Effervescence. Right. So we're looking for effervescence. Yeah. That's the first thing we do. And if there is effervescence, it means that there would be? Uh, carbonate. Carbonate. Yes. Okay. Carbon dioxide would be? The bubble. Yeah. Then what do we test for next? Um, we test for sulfate. Sulfate. What's the sulfate test? We have barium nitrate. And where did we look at this in a lot of detail? Fertilizer. Fertilizer prac. And what happens in the fertilizer prac? Jason, what do we do? How do we work out the sulfate content in the end? Oh, then gravimetric analysis. Analysis, good. So, not, what, not quite what we're doing, but we get the precipitates and then we weigh them to work out the percentage of sulfur in the end, yes? Yep. Good. After sulfate, what do we do next? Um, we find for chloride. Chloride? Mm -hmm. Okay. How, what's the chloride test? Add silver nitrate. Good. Because what will precipitate out when we add silver nitrate? Chloride. What kind of chloride? What's the solid? Silver chloride. Silver yeah. chloride. Good. And then... That's what you want. That's what I'm after. Yeah. Do you get me? And last. What do we do last? <laughs> Amok? Phosphate. Yep. How do we test for phosphate? Add uh, slightly alkaline, make it slightly alkaline. Because we know that some precipitates form in slightly alkalinic conditions, mm -hmm. while others form in slightly acidic conditions. So for this particular one, we make it slightly alkaline with probably what solution? Uh, ammonium. Yep. Good. And then? Add barium nitrate. To get a what precipitate? White precipitate. Yeah. Which is? Oh, uh, barium phosphate. Barium phosphate. Cool. So we need to learn this. Yeah, yeah. Just remember it in steps and it should make perfect sense. Remember the table that we did? Yeah. If you remember that table in the steps, in the, in well, the order makes now, more you know, intuitive sense than a table. What was that? Uh, yeah, yeah, but if you're having difficulty remembering it, just remember it straight off the table yeah. okay. because it's the same process each way through. Okay. Okay, so let's start and hope it all works out. Okay, so we're testing first. All right, so we have our anion solution. Mm -hmm. Okay. First test is we're going to take that. You sure you can carry that? Oh, <laughs> Add ion solution. Fill it up. Okay. Drop it in there. All right. What's next? What do we do to that? What are we testing first? Uh, what are we testing first? Nitric acid. Nitric acid. Yeah. Nitric acid yeah. So what? What? Carbonate. Yeah, we're testing for carbonate. So yeah. what are you going to add? Uh, nitric acid. Exactly. Makes sense. Do it. Where the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Cool. Wait for it. <laughs> 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 Add more. Okay. We added an excess. Yeah. Pull the whole thing. Nah. No, no, because <laughs> we need <Yeah>. some. <laughs> Alright. Are we seeing anything yet? Okay. No, I don't think so. No. No, there's a little bit. A bit more. Oh, really? Okay, now we can. Can you see something? Oh, I've got to see no, this. I can see it. <laughs> Do you want us to just keep adding that? There you go. Come on. Trip him over. What's the molar ratio between the carbon and this reaction? What do you think? Have you done the reaction? You really need to do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you what write it out, what would you get? You'd get H H2, plus. H2CO3. Yeah. Plus HNO3. <coughs> that, that, it may not be H2CO3. It could be sodium carbonate. Oh, okay. So Gosh, shame. We look, it's better to go with the ionic reactions. So we get hydrogen ions reacting with carbonate ions. Yeah, yeah that's enough. Carbon dioxide. <laughs> yeah. 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 Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Hold it from here so it's more clear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. All right, now. One look. Oh, man. Oh. You see, it's like an opening of Coke can. Wow. Shake. All of it, all of it. No. Just thought I'd let you know that's ten molar. Okay. <laughs> just infect all other kids. I'm, I'm just Yeah. Can right. you see it? It's going again quickly. We can see There's still a bit going on. Yeah. Can we see with 
Yeah. Do we all see it? Yeah, just yeah. a little. For the benefit of everyone. Yeah. Okay. Again. Do we want to do it again? Did you guys? Who didn't see it? It's all good. Yeah. Sorry. Move on. <laughs> Selfless. We're going to test yeah. with sulfate. Five. Yes. Okay. So, so we can just we use that solution. Sulfate. What was that? Can we just use the that solution? The that solution. Yeah. The one. <laughs> <laughs> the one that we just used. Yeah, yeah. we could. So yeah. didn't make much sense throwing it out. But all right. Constantly. Um, we'll try again. Who's next? Michelle, you want to be on camera? Yeah. Come on. Um, three three squirts. squirts. Oh, we're going to be filtering it. Wait, that's one. Not like, like that. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You good? Okay. Oh, you yeah. could add one more. We could add one more. Because we might, we'll be filtering this one, so we may as well have two more. Okay. Good. What do we, what's, what do we add to test for sulfate? Barium nitrate. Barium nitrate. Go for it. Let's do it. Is that it? That's it. How much? We should see some instant change. We should see if it's oh, there. Yeah. Oh! Yes. Ooh. Yeah, wait, wait. That, that was, what? <laughs> yeah, can you see it, the cloudiness? Yeah. 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 Now it'll start separating out, hopefully. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and smile. A bit closer. <laughs> closer, closer, closer. This is the game. Nice <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't have to look at it. I just can see. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Because it's a bit too far here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Are we all good with that? We're good. White. White. Are we filtering this one? Yeah. yeah you can't filter Should we test it we behind to black paper? Remember the fertilizer experiment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll go through. Alright, cool. Through. It's pretty so we're disposing and starting yeah. again? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Wait. Just give <coughs> are there any conflicts? What do you are mean? there any conflicts? Yeah. Like, for what? what do you if mean? we dispose this yeah. um, without filtering it, what does that mean? It means we're not removing what we just tested for. Yes. What did we just test for? Sulfate. sulfate. And what color was the sulfate precipitate? White. So if we have another white precipitate along the lines of this experiment, okay. can you see what the conflict is? Yeah. Yes. We wouldn't know whether it's barium or what we were testing for. Mm. Yes. So that's something to remember. If, oh, oh, in the HSC, sometimes your schools make you do things wrong so that you can talk about problems. So problem. Like the question will always be like, what was the problem? Did you encounter any problems in um, the experiment or like analyze any problems you found and you guys would just say it. We were, discharge we were unable to filter because they were so fine. We discharged the, um, the formation, we discharged the first, solu first lot of solution and as a result we had a problem because we could not be 100% sure the next time we did it. Does that make sense to everyone? Wait, sorry, what's yeah. the problem again? Okay, what color is our precipitate here? It's white. What happens if we throw this away without filtering it? What, just... So I'm, I'll, look, I'll discard it now. Discard it, yeah? Yeah. Not filtered. Okay. So that means from there, we already know that there's barium in there, right? Oh, what are we testing for? Sulfate. Sulfate, sulfate. yeah. And sulfate precipitate went white. Yeah. But when we test for phosphate, what color is the phosphate precipitate? White. Oh. Can you see? Yeah, I can see. Because if they're both white, then we don't know which one is causing the formation of the precipitate. But, but yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't you... Well, wouldn't you keep it? <laughs> you want me to... Make, yeah, make it again. Make it again? Yeah. We'll no do a new test. New test. Yeah. We have this problem, right, that where we don't know which precipitate is forming at what time, yeah? So if we add another chemical, so we're testing for sulfate. When we add another mm. chemical, if a precipitate is forming, this would probably go increasingly white. Okay. Yeah. yeah? So the increase in the, de um, the, the, the color, if the color becomes stronger, it would suggest that a new precipitate is forming as oh, well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. that was what Hong was saying. If we keep this and test, use this to test yeah. again, Good. then we will be able to know whether a new precipitate is forming on top of what we already had. Okay. Okay. Right, Hong? Yes, we add silver nitrate. Why do we add silver nitrate? Because it forms a precipitate with um, silver and chlorine. Yep, good. So we get our silver. If we get if there's chlorine. If there's that's the question. If there's chlorine, and we can't just assume that it's going to be there. But if it's there, we would get a precipitate with a silver nitrate. What color is that precipitate? White. Remember when we do these in your practice, you always write down the color of the precipitate.